Hello everyone, it's Diana. Now it's time for us to learn how to send killer newsletters using MailPoet. I absolutely love MailPoet because it lets you send really awesome looking newsletters for free up to 2,000 subscribers. And then it's only $10 a month after that. But otherwise it is free, free, free. And it is a plugin. So the plugin is also free, which I absolutely love, of course. And how do we get it? Well, because it's a plugin, it's super, super easy. We come over to our dashboard, we come to the left side of our dashboard, and we're going to click on Add New. When the next screen comes up, it's going to look something like this. We're going to go to Search Plugins and we are going to type in MailPoet, and that's all one word, MailPoet. And you're going to see there's a couple of options. One is MailPoet 3 and one is MailPoet 2. Well, MailPoet 2 is not going to be supported for very much longer, so we're going to stick with MailPoet 3. Normally, what you would do is you would click on an Install Now button up here and then follow the instructions on how to download it and configure it to your WordPress website. But I've already done that, so we are not going to do that today. And it's really easy to do. You just follow the instructions. Um, not difficult at all. So we are going to run right over here to our sidebar of our dashboard, and we're going to click on MailPoet. And when you do that, you are going to default onto the newsletter page. So we are going to click up here to add new and then newsletter. And we are going to create a brand new newsletter. And you will see from looking at this that there are a number of pre-designed newsletters that you can choose from that you can edit to make it consistent with your own website or what you want to express yourself. But today I'm not going to pick one of these pre-designed ones. I'm going to start with the newsletter blank one column. Um, it is a blank newsletter that you can configure for yourself. So when you select it, it's going to come up and it's going to look like this. And we are going to start by coming up to the top and putting our subject. Well, what's our subject today? Well, our subject today is so a basic tote using remnants. Really easy. Now we want to click our logo. Um, we can't just have logo there, so we're going to come over to the right. We're going to click on select another image and our entire WordPress image uh, library, media library, is going to come up. I'm going to search my media library because I happen to know that the image that I'm looking for is called header. And there it is. We're going to select that image and it's going to insert. And right at the top, I have my So Very Crafty and it's in the exact font and colors as my website so that my branding is consistent throughout everything that I'm doing. So now that we've done that, we want to get to the body of our newsletter. Here we don't want to get started, but we're going to start out by dragging with our left click on our mouse and we are going to submit an image. And again, all of our images from our WordPress Media Library come up so we can pick which ones we want. I'm going to select this one and it's going to be inserted right into my newsletter. And this particular image was an image that I used, um, that I created using PicMonkey. And we have discussed a lot um, in this course about PicMonkey and how useful it is to creating 
images for social media and other things like newsletters. And this particular image was one that I created for Facebook. And so it fits perfectly in to my newsletter. Next, we have the get started section, but I think rather than doing that, we're going to put a line. So we're going to take this divider symbol and we're going to bring it right there. And that's going to give us a line between our image and what our text is going to be. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to delete everything in this box because we don't need it and we're going to choose this little trash can here and we're going to delete that and make it go away. Now we are going to take the text box, click and drag it and we're going to put it right there. And you can see where it says edit this text. And so that's what we're going to do. We are going to edit this text by clicking in the box until it lets us do that. There we go. Now we can add our text for our newsletter. And so what are we going to say? Well, let's start by saying here is the latest post from So Very Crafty. This is a terrific and easy to sew everyday tote bag with a lining that is made totally from remnants and a little standard strapping. This project only takes about an hour to make and you can create it in the colors of your choice. This post has a complete step-by-step -step tutorial with photographs that I hope will inspire you to go and create one of these terrific bags. Head over to so very crafty and let me know how you fared. And that's it. That's our newsletter. So the next thing that we do now that we have all of our fields completed is we hit next. And up comes a list 
we select our list that we want to, and mine is called My First List. The sender is so very crafty. We're going to change this to Diana at SoVeryCrafty.com. Pry to Diana at SoVeryCrafty.com. And then we can save the draft and close it, or we can send it now. I don't want to send it right now, so I am going to save this draft and close it, and I can come back to it when I'm ready to send it again. And that's all there is to sending a beautiful newsletter from uh, using MailPoet. And I suggest that everybody um, try to use it. It is a free service, up to 2,000 subscribers. They are not an affiliate of mine, but I do like this product and I recommend them highly. So thank you and let me know if you have any questions about MailPoet. Bye.